Loftus. We start with a developing story tonight. North Las Vegas police say a woman is dead after she was hit by an RTC bus while crossing the street. This happened at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Civic Center Drive just around 6 tonight. Darlene Melendez joins us live now from the scene with the latest details. Darlene. Good evening, Sasha. Yeah, investigators tell me that woman was crossing Las Vegas Boulevard in her wheelchair when she was hit by an RTC bus. And if you take a look right behind me here, you can actually see the woman's wheelchair is still there laying in the street. A very, very sad sight to see out here tonight. According to the North Las Vegas Police Department, this all happened just after 6 this evening. Police say the RTC bus was in the designated bus lane going southbound on Las Vegas Boulevard when it hit the woman who was crossing the street in her wheelchair. First responders arrived on scene shortly after and pronounced her deceased. Now it does appear she was in the marked crosswalk, but police say they are still investigating that. There are still a lot more unknowns tonight who had the right of way out here if this was a case of distracted driving and why the bus didn't attempt to reverse after running over that woman. Investigators say that may not have helped. It's hard to say um, because you don't know whether re removing the vehicle from the victim would hurt them more. So it's it's a case by case deal, and you know it's just hard to say at this time whether that would have helped her or or could have made the situation worse. And investigators say the bus driver is cooperating with their investigation. We're told that no passengers were on the bus at the time of the crash, and there were no other injuries. And that, of course, is according to the North Las Vegas Police Department. And this intersection was closed off for hours as investigators were out here just looking at the scene, trying to figure out how exactly this crash happened. Uh, this uh, intersection is now reopened after that hours long investigation. But as you saw, uh, that wheelchair. Is still there on scene. Anyone with information is urged to contact the North Las Vegas Police Department or Crime Stoppers because police say they will be relying heavily on witness accounts and surveillance video for this case. Reporting live from North Las Vegas, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.